Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be channeling our inner Instagram baddie. I've got my extensions in and everything, so shit's got real. I absolutely love these type of glams. They're just that full coverage, like chef's kiss, beautiful makeups, like photo ready makeup. So yeah, we're going to give it a go today. Before we get into the video, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my socials. I'll leave them either on the screen or in the description box below. So let's turn this monstrosity into an Instagram baddie. Cut up some reference pictures. If you aren't familiar with the term Instagram baddie, these are the kind of looks that we're talking about. That very like snatched, like full glam moment, photo ready moment. We are talking coverage. We are talking finessed makeup. You know, it's not your everyday glam makeup. What I would like to look like 24 seven, but I'll be honest, your girl hasn't got the time all the energy for that. So you're just gonna pretend that, that is, this is what I look like all the time. Whether I'll be catfishing or not, who knows? But I have to wait and see till the end to make a judgment on that for me. Jump straight into it. I'm gonna start with brows. I always start with brows. I'm not gonna go full in depth with my brows. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you would have seen the full steps in my brow routine. If you wanna see how I do my brows, then go back to my previous video. I'm just gonna do them off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, brows are done. They're looking a little bit intense, but just trust the process. Just going in with a dark concealer first to act as a base. My contour for my lids. Just buffing that out. I find doing like a cream contour on the lids first is a great place to start because it kind of it acts as that base for the shadow. So one, it's gonna make it more pigmented, but two, you've kind of already got the contour mapped out for you. So then you can just go in on top of the eyeshadow. I find it just makes the shadows blend a lot easier on top as well. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with my trusty P. Louise Timeless Treasures palette. I've just taken out the drawer section on the bottom and I'm gonna go in, I think, with the shade Good Heart. So I'm just gonna buff the shade into my crease. Really using small circular motions to get that nice, easy blend. Just doing the same on the other eye. I'm sort of bringing it downwards so the shadow goes below the eye. Later when I clean this up, it's really going to give the overall kind of snatched look that we're going for. And then I'm just bringing that into the crease. And I'm actually bringing that down onto my nose also as a bit of a start to the contour. Then just with a fluffier brush gonna go over the whole thing just to blend out further. Take the shade everything which is this white shade here. Just gonna bring that onto the inner corner of the lid to open up the eyes. Going back in with a brush that I use to contour with, with no excess product on it. I'm over that just to blend it a little bit more. Now I'm happy with the blend. Go in with a teeny little bit of sparkle just to kind of make this look pop. Again from the same palette the Heart and Soul shade which is this kind of like really nice champagne colour and I'm just going to take it actually on my ring finger very lightly and then I'm just going to kind of dab, dab it onto the lid. It creates like a really nice like subtle shimmer. I find that these kind of pigments work best with your finger. It just like warms to your skin and then it just kind of makes it blend on top of the shadow better. I'm just gonna take the fluffier brush again to diffuse any edges. My handsome boy has decided to make an appearance even though he doesn't seem very happy about it. Say hello to everyone, hello. Yeah, he's not pleased, let me put you down. And I'm gonna go in with eyeliner and I'm gonna go with the Lancome Idol Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner in Black. If you have followed me for a while, you know, and I say it in pretty much every single video how much I love this eyeliner. It's so easy to use, it's so pigmented, and it is so long wearing as well. I'm gonna go with a bit of a thicker wing today because obviously we are going for that full glam Insta baddie. Look how intense this eyeliner is, like it's so pigmented. It just glides on like a dream. That might have been the best liner I've ever done in my life. Look how crisp that is. And I've not even cleaned it up yet. <laughs> I am actually shocked at myself. I do eyeliner most days. It's not turned up this crisp in a while. Wow, I'm bringing the A game today. <laughs> if I can do that again, so I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera. Right, I absolutely jinxed it. What have I done on this side of my eye? <laughs> is that one so much thicker? What has happened? I call myself a makeup artist. Look at this one. They look like a long distance relationship. What is that? I've just tried to add more on this one and I've just, I think I've done all I can do. So hopefully when I clean it up with concealer, it's gonna, gonna magically look a lot better. <laughs> Moving on, I'm gonna go on to the base now. To prime, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Lancome Le Base Pro, pump a little bit into the back of my hands and then massage it in 
my T-zone where I get more oily. It takes away any shine, it smooths pores and any fine lines. It just makes the skin feel really super soft. And for foundation, I'm going to use the Lancome Tinted Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. This one is the old formula, so it is shade 03. In the new formula, the equivalent of this shade will be the 31C. For anyone that's interested in the colour, we'll not be able to get this old formula anymore because Lancome have just renovated the foundation, so the new shade will be 315C. So we've just been joined by a cat again, so if you just see him cleaning himself, doing his business, just ignore him. Putting on a few pumps, just on the lower half of the face first. I've literally just flipped foundation at myself, so that's all over my hand. Luckily it didn't get in my extensions though, Jesus. We're using a shade that's a little bit darker, just to match more with my neck as I have got tan on. And I'm just building coverage up more, obviously because we, we are wanting that full coverage base. Just using a bit more of a denser brush to blend in any excess. So I'm not blind, I can see that the foundation is looking a little bit orangey and a little bit dark compared to like the rest of my body. So I'm going to apply like a lighter concealer and hopefully I can look a little bit more blended. I'm fully aware that I'm looking a lot more orange in the face than I am on the body. It's nothing that like a little bit of bronzer can't fix on the body, so I'm not too worried about it. So for concealer I'm going to go in with another Ride or Die. Again, if you watch my videos you'll see how much I love this concealer. It is the HMB Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer and I'm using the shade 1W and also the 0.5N2. Actually, before I do concealer, I'm going to go in with nose contour and I'm going to take the Pixie Pen Nose Contour by Pink Honey. Such a quick way of doing a nose contour. I've literally rubbed that all over my nose, so it's kind of a little bit messy, but with the concealer, I'm to lighten it a little bit. We're going quite liberal with a concealer because again, we want that kind of like full, full coverage base. So this is always my placement for concealer. Obviously I like to go underneath the eyes to brighten. I like to take it on the chin. Just lifting up from the lips as well, joining onto like just below my contour, just to kind of give it that like snatched look, like I mentioned that we're going for. So I like to leave the concealer for a little bit, kind of dry down slightly and then it just kind of makes it blend better and kind of keeps the coverage there as well even though this is like a full coverage concealer i've always liked to do it that way i just find that it gives you like the maximum coverage from the concealer so i'm just going in with a brush first and just kind of like starting to blend these out like edges then i'll go in with the beauty blend just to really like blend it in but i'm bringing that concealer right up to where the liner is because i really want that lifted I look. Fine with these kind of looks where they're so obviously like precise, you want to be a lot more precise and kind of where you're blending. Really precise with where the placement is because it's such like a precise kind of look. I find it's really nice just to use brushes just to blend initially and then you just kind of blend out any edges like down here. With a beauty blender you just get a bit more precision that way. Again, this is another kind of look that's very like, trust the process. It looks so intense at points. You just really have to kind of have faith, just hope for the best, basically. So just before I go in and bake, I'm just going to set just with a powder all over the face first. I just find that it works nicely this way. It's a little tip that I learned from Painted by Spencer. I always talk about him in my videos, but he is literally makeup. King, he's amazing. I really recommend his videos if you're looking for like educational makeup videos. He's always really amazing at like teaching makeup. And I have learned a lot from him. So now I've lightly set the face. I'm gonna go in and bake and I'm just gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder on a velvet powder puff of course. Nice to begin with to really kind of make it look like flawless and really smooth as you can see. Then I'm going to go with a little bit more powder, I bake, bringing that down the sides of my nose. I'm just using like the side of the powder puff, sharpen up the contour. Bronzer, it looks like I'm going quite aggressively with it. Um, I'm using a really light pressure and I find that's really key into kind of building and blending like bronzers and things onto the face. If you go with like a harder pressure, you're gonna move the product around, drag off of the skin, go a little bit patchy. There's just a really light pressure 
up definitely less is more like i can't stress this enough it is so much easier to add on than it is to take away that you find that the line looks still a little bit too harsh for yourself just go back in with like a pressed powder or a foundation powder and i just basically buff over the top or just to make it a little bit more soft not neglecting the ears I'm just going to wipe away the bake on the under eyes. I'm going to go in with a bit of blush. I'm going to go in with the Lancome Blush Subtil in 375. This is a very intense looking pink, so I'm going to go very lightly with this. Because you can see there is a lot of pigment. I'm just going to go very, very light to begin with. And then if I want a little bit more intensity, I build my pressure. So this looks really intense in person. I don't know whether I'm up well on the camera, but just for like that picture's sake sake you really do need like a lot more than you would normally wear day to day just because it won't pick up in the pictures just it really just doesn't show up so you have to go in with a little bit more going back in with a bronzer just to blend them in together a little bit more and then i'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight i'm gonna go in with a kiko I, this is actually an eyeshadow and this is in 208 i don't even know if they still do this anymore for me this is such like a stunning highlighter color just again, placement wise, very much on that real high point of the cheekbone to really kind of draw the focus out. I kind of want to keep this look quite matte on the skin. So I'm just focusing it on the points where the light would naturally hit me. I always find when you look at those kind of like Instagram pictures, they always have like a really nice pop of highlight. I think now I'm looking at it, I want like a little, maybe like a little second under wing i really kind of like intensify my eyes because i feel like i feel like this is just very like glam and i want to like a little bit of an edge to it i've probably actually done my main wing just like a little bit too thick but it's okay we'll work with it just going in with like a really deep brown just to smoke that out a bit intensify the inner corner I've just brought in my inner corners a little bit more to make them look a little bit more like cat-like. Pop on a little bit of mascara. Going in with a lash. So I actually picked these up off of Amazon. I think they were like five or six pounds for a set. I think it's a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set of ten in there. These are actually classed as half lashes. The set which were a little bit more of like the natural ones. They're a half lash and that comes in a seven pack. And I think again it was like five five six pounds i actually have an amazon shop front as well so i'll leave that link in my description box below the stuff today is from amazon it'll be on my amazon shop front directly for you guys to buy i'm thinking this set which i think is just the 1002 set just tried to find my tweezers but i could not locate them anywhere so i have to use my hands these are described as a half lash in the pack but you could definitely use them as a full lash and you could definitely still cut them down if you wanted like more of it on the ends but i am pretty happy with them but for the price and how they look very impressed I'm tempted to do a red lip but i feel like i'm gonna look a little bit too like doll like too intense so maybe i'll just go for a nude for now if i fancy going for red Maybe I'll try it with a red and you guys can let me know what you think. So for lips, I'm going to go in again with another trusty combo. I'm going to go with the P. Louise Temptation Lip Liner. Lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Lancome La Absolute Rouge in 510. To finish and lift the skin, I'm just going to use the YSL Dewy Spray. That's and that's going to be the only setting spray I'm going to use. I'm not going anywhere in this makeup, so I don't need it to last all night. I normally use my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, but because I'm not going anywhere it's fine that is the completed look what do you guys think i am obsessed with how this looks it's very intense very dramatic but that is what an instagram baddie is okay i just like the intensity of the eye like the full coverage i just feel really glam really sexy we have brought out the instagram baddie in ourselves and i'm living for it what you guys think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching this video and i shall see you next you time you know Bye. just what you do you do to me play my emotions like a pair of puppet strings